Here, this is Ray Numura uh, with the Coast Guard Auxiliary, and he and a, a few fellow uh, Coast Guard Auxiliarists went out and did some diving. Can you tell us about that, where that was, and what you guys found? We did two dives on Crocker, uh, one uh, just a little bit west of the Crocker number one ball, and then the second dive we, we tied up to the number one ball. Uh, the reef is in very bad shape. Uh, everything was the color of sand. Sand had just co coated all the all the reef. Uh, the, the sand, the spur and groove system uh, it was just all sand now. There were still a lot of fish out. I was surprised by that. Um, there were some lobsters. We've heard the lobsters have started to move quite a bit because of Irma. Um, Tell us about the Crocker areas for some people who really don't know. Crocker, if you come out of Snake Creek and head pretty much uh, about, a one, about southeast, uh, about a 150 heading, it, it's, uh, it's out there on the reef line. Um, is this the... Uh, three and a half miles out. Gulf or, or the ocean side? Oh, this is ocean side. The ocean side, okay, because I don't even know. I'm oh, not yeah, a diver. No, that's, that, that's ocean side. I'm not a diver. It's on so. the reef line, which is about three and a half miles off, offshore. Um, Okay, is this typically where people go diving, where, where dive boats will take people? Crocker's a very popular spot. Okay. There are three maintained mooring balls there. Um, but it's just a series of, along the reef. There's just one spot. There used to be a Red Nun, which was a navigational thing that was there, and that blew off years ago, and they never replaced it. But uh, you have a whole series of named reefs, but that doesn't mean that there's not good reef in between these things that are named. Uh, and different dive shops have their names for different little locales. But, but this would be off just southeast of uh, Snake Creek, like I said, about three and a half miles. And uh, the reef was, uh, was not pretty. It was not pretty, but is it still worth diving? Um, well, there was, there was still a lot of fish life. Uh, I, I spear fish, I was able to spear a few fish, and uh, my dive partner got a few lobster. Um, what, what about the visibility? Well, it's funny. We, the two dives we did were within a couple hundred yards of each other. The first dive, I'd say we had 40 foot of visibility, and then the second dive, we had about 20. And what I can't was, explain that. It was, it, was it in a different spot, total different location? Like I said, about 250, 300 yards Oh, okay, away. you did say that, yeah. Yeah, and, uh, and, and the same depth. But we did notice when we got toward the wall, which the reef starts, slants down to about 60 feet, then drops off to about 80 or 90. So you have a little wall there, and over the wall it was very milky. The, the visibility uh, was not good at all, uh, so we didn't we didn't venture down the wall at all. One other thing that was in it, well, the reefs are in modern times. One of the big problems with the reefs was they're, they're coated with algae. Now the algae has been sandblasted off, so that might be a good thing. Um, and we did not see any lionfish, which is rather, rather unusual for that location. Which might be a good thing. That might be a too, good thing, too. So. I don't know. Maybe they don't like hurricanes. I don't know. Okay. So, but if you're a hardcore diver, then it's, you're probably not going to care that much about, oh, it's not pretty anymore. It's just going to be different. You still might really enjoy your dive, right? Well, the, like I said, there were still a lot of fish there. Um, we saw a turtle. We saw nurse sharks. We okay. saw more well, eels. We saw a lot of... Good sized mangrove snapper and some other snappers, some nice grouper. Uh, a lot of the ornamentals were still there, you know, the butterfly fish and the okay. French angels. So it's still worth diving, I would say. There's, there's still life on the reef. But so is this a snorkel spot as well? Then do, do the boats take snorkelers out there? Uh, that's a, they could in parts, but it depends how good of a snorkel you are. I mean, we were in Pretty basically choppy. 45 to 60 feet of water most. So that's usually beyond most people. A better dive a snorkel spot would be Davis. Okay, so it's not really a chickens. snorkel spot because the reef's down pretty, most pretty of the far. Reef is a little below. Of more, most snorkels. Okay, all right, great. Thank you so much. Appreciate okay. that. Florida Keys Local News.